and it's spooktober, I also decided to redo all of Amnesia the Dark Descent from the very start, as it is the only Amnesia maybe not fully completed for my channel. So, with that being said, start new game. Forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at. at. Uh, Maybe I'll go this way. What have I done? This is crazy. Did you just turn me around? Don't forget. Oh my god, where am I? I must stop him. Focus. My name is. is. Oh yeah, I forgot I, I had narr narration. Daniel. Ah! Who's here? Or you could beat me up. That works too. Alright. Sounded like someone smacked me with a chain. Oh. Oh. So I got knocked out. Okay, I also do not remember a lot of the stuff in this one. And I also think that I vaguely remember an enemy being... Oh yeah, I'm going to turn that on. Keep my sanity up here. Oh, I could have used that one. Can I try through the window? I never tried that. No, but I can hear that. Okay. Hi. Thomas Grip. My name is Thomas Grip, and Thomas. I'm one of the co-founders of Don't Fictional Games. I work with his name engine code, gameplay code, design, and many other things from Nisha. In my commentaries, I will mainly focus on the design behind the different parts of the game. I hope you'll enjoy them. Okay. Why am I moving so slowly though? The name of this level is Rainy Hall, and it's supposed to be a combination of atmosphere setter and tutorial for the player. We wanted the player to start the game in a slow way so they could settle in and get used to how the game works. Amnesia is not a game with constant action happening all the time, and we wanted to have a constrained map where the player gets used to this. The only thing you need to do is to follow the track and get there to the end go. of the level. Also, following tracks is something that becomes very useful in layers this from the start. I hear you. Somewhere. Okay. Anyways, guys, let's get let's uh let's be Harry Potter. It's spooked. I don't know if it really matters what way I go, but I don't want to go that way yet. Cause that looks like I'm supposed to go that way. I don't remember if I'm supposed to go that way or not. But I feel like I can go. Right. Right. It was telling me to go in here, so I am going to go in here. Uh, although, I am going... What did I hit? Okay guys, I have no idea what I- oh. 
Alright. So this room was a hoax. I don't think I ever went in that room in the beginning, last time anyway. Alright guys. We're gonna follow the trail of blood, cause that's what we do in a horror game, right? Alright. My trusty broomstick will get me through. Go get the Quidditch ball! I didn't tell you to fail. What was that? I don't want to know what that is. going to punch you. Yes, welcome. I started Amnesia at the Dark Descent from the beginning, and I don't even remember any of this, to be honest with you. Because I know I didn't start Amnesia the Dark Descent from the beginning on my channel, so I figured I might as well start it from the beginning, and try to complete it all in one go. And if I... Okay. Wouldn't let me crouch. Why is blood pink? Come on. Actually, I'm gonna leave my chair right here and I'm gonna come in here first. You almost scared me. Yes, Tinderbox. Okay. Can I move anything in here? No. Hey, a mattress. No. Get me out of here. Fix my sanity. Oh my god, that's a action. Eh. Ah. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so obviously you go to the next area. I'm not supposed to go there yet. It doesn't let me run either yet. Uh, L2 is not working. I'm going to check this oddly placed wardrobe because I didn't check this the first game. Is like a special panel or something? No. So you're just a randomly placed... Fancy wardrobe, okay. Oops! I think I did that. Okay. 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 I didn't mean to do that. Because we'll do it again. No. Why do I feel like my character is slight? Slightly leaning over. And also, guys, I am also very aware that my phone continues to go off, but that's okay. Normally, it's my Instagram or my Twitter. Unless my girlfriend texts me, but in that case, it's a different sound when she texts me, but... Okay, Thomas Grip. This is one of the first levels that we created for the game, and it was initially part of the archives level, which we will reach in a bit. Amnesia started out. This is one of the first level that we created for the game, and it was initially. Oh, I messed up. This is one of the first level that we created for the game, and it was initially part of. The this is one of the first level go. that we created for it. the game, and it was initially part okay. of the archives level, which we will reach in a bit. Amnesia started out with a pretty different design, and you when we redesigned enemies cannot it, the touch me. Did not fit. 
This cast does I have split a them up and scatter them yellow out. Yellow circle thing So in the around first me. design of the this corridor, the archives level was supposed to follow. And the room line <laughs> there now was <laughs> much better. In fact, the first designs did not have Daniel waking up with an amnesia at all. And it was actually added later on. In the first the story draft, Daniel still had hidden memories, but he was unaware of this at the start of the story. However, as we redesigned things, we found a waking up in a Jesus and Christ! It to be much more fitting. Nope. I'm gonna lock myself in here. Another thing I'm doing. Okay. So that's a thing. Also, I got tinder boxes. Is a monster gonna come through there? I mean. I forgot what I'm supposed to do in this puzzle. Pretty I think I need all the boxes though. So. All this. So I think it has something to do with that up there. Maybe. Okay. I think that's a little too tall for me to jump on. These are very different large boxes. Okay, that's... That doesn't help me at all, game. Could you stop that, please? Thank you. Oh my god. Okay. <gasps> oh. Oh. I need to find a lantern before it can be turned on. I don't remember what you're for. Okay. I've been hearing a lot of foot steps. Is it you? Also, why is every part of my house different textures? Screw yourself! Continue to hear footsteps that aren't mine. What was that? Uh, Louis Rodero, almost as planned Hi introduction. There. My name is Luis Rodero. I'm mostly the tool programmer, level scripter at times, and perhaps the main reason why the rest of the core team at Fictional Games is pretty much forced to speak English at our internal meeting, as I am the only non Swede here. Now, what a Spaniard is doing with a bunch of Swedish guys is a whole different story we won't be discussing today. By the way, I will be talking mostly about tools and scripting. Hope you like it. Stop! The themselves went through a lot of design changes during the development. Not that many in visual appeal as in internal stuff, like data structures and handling. This happened take mostly the book because of fate. at the beginning we only knew have the, the basic book of fate. stuff that needed okay. to be in there. And Skyrim as they grew on features and functionality, oh, they started to kind of fall apart. Mostly due to my big lack of previous experience in projects like this. Right now I loud what the hell still sounds in my head when I look at some parts of the code. But I am still proud of them. Can I we can stack also get a bit back up, up time, but hopefully get all this won't happen again there. in the future. 
and I already got some nice ideas for the next iteration of the two. Okay, nice. Hey, how much? I don't even have that much oil, so. Already, demons? Get out of my house, demon! Chunky the Book of Fate. Okay. So first things first, look for all the tinder boxes I can find because those are very important in this. See, normally you scare me, but I know what you are. Take the book of the King James Holy Bibble. That's a lot farther than I thought I could throw that. Take that too. All right. I don't want to like that. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be notes. Tender. This, where's all the dresses at too? <gasps> yes. Let me. You see your bi your not your Bible, your diary. The demon's diary and put it in the fire, close it, and let it burn. Well, I will leave that one open in case I. I'm also going to. My god, I'm super strong in this one. I can chunk everything. Okay. I'm also pretty sure that there's a tender box or some oil. Move that too, because I gotta go through that door in a second. Somewhere over here, like behind it? No. Okay. You're gonna have to hold on. There. Hello everyone, my name is Mikael, and I'm the writer for Amnesia, The Dark Descent. That's all for your introduction? I think we can all feel the story kick-starting as we finish the letter from Daniel. The game itself is just filled with confusion, and I think we're really doing the player a service keeping it simple in the beginning. Basically try to take your revenge on Alexander, that is the premise of the game. You don't really need to dive any deeper than that, but hoping that the player will care about the story, they have the entire game in front of them to decide if they think killing Alexander is justified or not. Wow, unbreakable. Ooh, what are you? Oh, that's metal. I'll pick that note up in just a second. A uh, very nice pile of blood. Okay, well if that's the case, then why is this blood pink? Okay. Thank you for August 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Former self, as if he changed. 
We are Daniel. Okay. Oh, that was dope. Okay. But I also forgot where I go from here. I don't think I go outside the door. I think I. What are you? Nothing important. Oh, yeah. There we are. Oh boy! And to the entrance hall, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be safe haven. Yes. Maybe. It's not normally like that. It was. I remember. I don't remember it like that. Fuck off! Introduction. Hello, my name is Mark McKender. I'm a 3D artist and level creator at Fictional Games. I started out as a helper during Penumbra Overture, and I was finally hired as a full time artist in the later part of Penumbra Black Plague. Don't believe I have. Is it connected to the. What did you call it? The Inner Sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Right. Go that way. The entrance hall was first shown in our first gameplay trailer. And while the layout hasn't changed much, the details certainly have. We build our levels from sets of pieces, in this case, the custom base set. While the carefully planned set pieces made level building very easy, the levels became very similar and we had to make special pieces to the levels. Now, one and a half year later, the special pieces make up about half of the pieces in the custom base set. And we made changes to incorporate these objects into the earlier levels. An example of this can be seen if you compare the hole in the roof now with the one from the first trailer. The new roof was made in the middle of the project when we built level 9 back hall. A special version was made to give a roof hole in the entrance hall more depth and detail. No, you're lacking. Scattered throughout the game, you can see some signs written in Latin. The reason for using it is that it was considered a language of culture and science. As most scientific and philosophy authors wrote their works and treatises in it. As we are dealing with a castle dwelt by a pretty smart guy Ooh. that has been around since the Renaissance period, Latin all around the place was something we should expect. Being the only guy in the team that had a direct contact with Latin in high school to be more precise, well, it was kind of logical that any translation to be done would have my name on it. Translating stuff into Latin was kind of strange and fantastic to do. At first I had a classic Latin dictionary, so if I had to translate any modern term, I would have to track its etymology down to the Latin equivalent, or look for a synonym or similar expression that had a direct translation. Then I had the luck to come across some dictionary for modern stuff online that addressed most of this stuff for a huge lot of terms, so it couldn't have come in a better time. Some days I would have Sebastian dropping a list of nine or so entries to be translated, and before finding this dictionary, Jesus, how it was does quite this guy a lot talk? of work. Oh my God. On a side note, we even had a choose your Latin poll on a couple entries, just to pick the one that sounded yeah, yeah. better for okay. everyone. Results were pretty unanimous, by Jesus. the way. Jesus. For some you final words on this, you must confess that while I was pretty good at this in high school, <gasps> Boom. that was okay. like 15 years ago. So right now I'm not 100% sure translations are correct at all. But I took the time to make them at least plausible. So my apologies go in advance to any Latin guru up there playing the game, as I myself get on the verge of losing my temper when I see stuff like this obviously made up. If you haven't followed our development blog back when it started, you might have missed one of the <coughs> biggest changes okay. in our production pipeline. So I'm going this Two way years first. Back, we started a tool set side project to ease and speed Maybe. up the creation of content for the game. I'd say the level Oil editor, which is what we, need. or more specifically James, Mark and Marcus, have used to build all the halls and corridors you are working through right now, is the big start of the pack. It's worth he just in predicted I'm walking Why through this the exact hallway are actually made in software like there. Maya or Blender. Everything geometry-wise in the levels You're is put together You're a creep, Louie. Then lighting and sweet details like decals and fog are added in. While this approach might sound simple, really nice stuff can come out from it, as you can see in the game.
Okay. Oh, never mind. I forgot about that stiff. Right, that's the shadow that he was talking about. And now that I did that, there's probably an enemy in here. So which way I came from? I came from that way. But yet if I go back... You know what's real creepy about that? I remember later in the game, you go through this door and come down, open the door, but it's not like that. You can just open it and walk through. And then there's an elevator over there and stuff, so... <clears throat> I never realized that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go this way. This way! Oh. Laboratory. Oh. The locked and will not open without a key. But I can go in the laboratory. I probably don't want to either, but you know what? Let's do it. Oh, yes. This place. There's definitely enemies here. Yeah, you're straight down there. Although, let me check something on my options. Okay. I don't want to know where he's at. Oh, he's not in there. He's... Yeah. It's cold. It's so cold. That enemy better not come up those stairs while I'm doing this. is also a fine part of the tool bundle, and it is what we use to create particle effects for maps and events. We use particles to do nice effects like the flames in torches and the, and the smoke that comes out from them. All we have to do is add one or more particle emitters, set up some parameters like starting position and speed, on all sorts of fadings in size, color or speed. It's funny how you can simulate all kinds of effects with such simple elements. I very much recommend you to try it yourself. So are you saying that you over exaggerated every enemy in the game? I straight up hear you. I don't want you. Oh yeah, there's nothing to fear here. I'm not gonna read every single one. I'm probably gonna read like one every five of them. Starting with this one. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Oh yeah, oil, thank you. Uh, also, since I'm already here, in early concepts, this was meant to be a sort of wine testing room and directly connected to the wine cellar. The reason for the whole wine testing thing was that we planned on having more laboratories in veil levels, so a lab here as well felt kind of strange. Then things changed, of course, and only one lab was left and designed. 
So we changed the name to the laboratory instead. The whole wine testing facility that could make dangerous acid always felt kind of strange anyways. Okay. I kind of supposedly in darkness, but there's literally light right there. Oh, I never noticed you before. Go away. I'm gonna let you guys read this one. So I'm gonna let this part stay up. There you go. If you wanna read it, pause the video and read it. Go away. Time machines, though, little time capsules, I'm always gonna read. Unless they read themselves, I don't remember. No, I read them. One day, I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. someone walking above me like I swear oh I'm just gonna watch this <coughs> awesome okay so I forgot where the thing I need for this is oh Someone's dying, I can hear that. Are you dying outside? Is this the cellar over there? Okay, so someone just randomly ripped out some of the thing there. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, from here, I'm gonna see if I can go into here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right. This is one of the many hub levels in the game. And this is a design concept that we started out with in Penumbra. The idea is to give the player some freedom on where to go, but at the same time give a clear objective. In this level, the slime obstacle is the thing that the player needs to get past, and all other th levels then have things needed to do so. The slime itself is one of the few puzzles left from the initial designs, and the one I'm probably the least proud of. Now that slime appears all around, it feels a bit forced that you need to have a potion on the slime. Many testers also complained that they wanted other options in getting rid of the slime, like burning it. However, creating a potion is the central theme for this hub, so we had to let it be. I don't think it's that bad, but we probably could have redesigned it if we had time. Alright. A fragment taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. Constant. Constant, Constantinople, 
Constantinople. I don't know. Constantinople. I'm this one we'll call it Constantinople. Oh yeah. Fun with furniture. It's a material world. I'm gonna start with fun with Another furniture. piece of the tool set is an bodies, joints, and user defined variables. We can also attach sub entities to them, like lights, particle systems. When an entity is finally set up, it's ready to be placed in a level using the level editor. Samples of entities here are doors, lamps, most furniture, critters. finish this little overview of our tools, I must mention the material editor, available both standalone and built into the other editor. The program itself is very simple to use. You have some material types defined by the engine, and you can throw in textures to be used for diffuse, normal maps, height maps, as well as some variables to control specific parameters for a material type. When I was writing it, I could just stare while the preview model rotated around itself and the parallax mapping effect was on when testing, just for fun. <coughs> okay, so... Oh! I got it stuck! Oh, that's amazing! Home run, guys! Fucking basketball hoop I got it stuck in the map okay May 1839. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage. Tomorrow. Sorry. If you guys want to read that, you can pause it. that guys I'm pretty sure something just said something there this level was changed a lot and I think it's one of the most tweaked levels that we got not only was it part of the big archives level that we had to split up but it was also hard to get engaging enough the problem here is that we don't have any sort of fun mechanic that we rely on to make the game engaging instead we rely on story atmosphere and environment this is true for many other levels and the game as a whole, but these were kind of the, the one of the larger levels that we made and also one today. that didn't have much I was trapped. and such. So when testing it we quickly get bored with it and we wanted to add more spooky events to spice it up. But then later on testing proved that these events weren't that necessary and we also felt that they were a bit lame and not fitting so we decided to remove them. Then, the back part of the level, we wanted to make that a more linear experience with the current player getting trapped and all, forcing the player to solve the destroy wall and find secret door puzzles. Previously, testers often missed that they can solve these problems. The level is now very different from the early designs. So is that supposed to be a window? Every door in this game has a... window a 
Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to go to down here. I hear you walking and I don't like it one bit. It's nice outside right now. I heard that growl too. So where's the enemy? Okay, I've been in here. Wherever you are, could you please stop that? I am going to punch you in the face so hard. Right. I swear I hate this hallway. Who has a hallway this big? It's unnecessary. Like what are you what are you running, a college? I really hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Give me this so I can whack you. Actually. Wow, that's some really strong glass. The brick can't break it. Dripping blood, so someone's dead up there. When I started writing, I had only to outline the framework for the story and the first few levels in the game design document. So I ended up finalizing a lot of material for the first levels, and then when those were done, we planned out the last two thirds or so. This had a funny effect since I had to not only cater to the story, but to stay true to the stuff I have written for the first levels. Usually you can go back and forth while writing and change things, but if you have already recorded voices, you really shouldn't because of the costs. So the first text really shaped the rest of the material in an interesting way and made them matter in a way I hadn't thought about. I really like how this, this thickens the story elements uh -huh. as I am able to jump back into the material and keep using and reinforcing certain concepts. Why? It's literally is of course the most extreme thing. effect of this method which grew from a small reference to becoming one of the most important characters in the game. It won't take long until things start falling apart. You're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. Right. We should reinforce okay. weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. So this is Western Hall. This is the East Wing. Look at all these J's. By J's, I'm not meaning shoes. I'm talking about something else. Get lit. Very nice. Very nice uh, fog over there in the corner. And wow, this wall's cracked. Oh, oh! I found a glitch in the game. I could walk up things. Okay. Uh, oh well. 
Okay. J, three more J's, and even more J's. Maps. Jesus Christ. So much for going back through that door. Alright, I can't read those. This is Central Prus Prussia, Kingdom of Prussia. What? How did picking up a paper... 17th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Um... My weakened body was heavy oh, the to carry. Orb. But I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. All right, go this way. Yes, I can. I want to go away from it and see what happens. It was waiting for oh, me. Oh, I can't. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I heard something from the left. Can I go check that out? I don't want to go to the orb. Evidently, I can't. So I literally have to go to the orb. Okay. Hey, man. Hey. Okay. Skirt. I'm gonna go this way. All right. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most Right. Oh, yeah, after that, I'm not gonna fix my sanity. Okay, let's continue, guys. I've already been through there. I forgot that I forgot how to go through this part, so let's find a new way out of this area. The door leading to the local history room is locked, or isn't it? Is there another entrance? Some sort of organic tissue okay. Okay. Right. Gotta find another way out. Window, right? I think it was the window. Maybe this window? No. Oh, I got you stuck in the map. Oh. What? Okay, well. Oh, here we go again. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. 
Right. All right. since I didn't look around for anything. Amazing dial. Wine cellar key? Yes. There has to be. Gotta be an enemy out now. I'm gonna read this one now. <clears throat> Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my truly, my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to look, I need to lock Windhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be, it would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Alright, so what's the way? Oh, yeah. Also, where's that enemy? Either. Where did you come from? You're demonic. You're going in here. Go to hell. Alright. Alright guys. We seem to be doing pretty good so far. Did I get you stuck? No. Okay, good. I was about to be mad that I haven't even saved. Right. 
I just came out of there. can do man now the enemies come into play okay so how do I juke this have you come for me That sounded like you were about to barf. Did Dad poison your food again? I'm sorry. I don't care where you are. I'm going to the entrance hall. Like it or not. that enemy in here yet? I'm gonna juke him. I can't juke that stuff, but I can juke the regular enemies. A whole new If you haven't set. followed our development blog back when it started, you might have missed one of the biggest changes in our production pipeline. Two Wait. years back, we started a tool set side project to ease and speed up oh, the, the same of thing. content for the game. I'd say the level editor, okay, I'm gonna come which up is here what we, stop for more specifically thing. James, Mark and Mark have used to build all the housing. Wine cellar. Now actually, I'm going to end this live stream here, guys, and I'm going to go through my YouTube channel and check and see where I started Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, and when I get to that point during this game, I'm going to stop. That way I'm not doing the same thing over again. You see, you guys want to see what I'm saying? Okay, so this is Cheap Gaming, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.